Good evening. Today I'll be talking to you about the uses of radioisotopes in medicine. What are radioisotopes? I'm sure a few of you in this class have heard of the word used in science or come across and thought, what does that even mean? Well, here is your chance to learn and discover. Used in medicine to diagnose and treat diseases, monitor the effectiveness of drugs, sterilize medical and surgical equipment, and to kill cancer cells found in humans. Isotopes used specifically in medicine. Cobalt-60, iron-59, iodine-131, and technetium-99M. Today I'll be specifically discussing isotope technetium-99M, its uses and more. Technetium-99M is used for diagnosing and treating diseases, detecting blood flow abnormalities, detecting heart defects and defects in size, and the location and growing cancer cells. So how does a radioisotope consisting of such helpful aids obtained, you ask? 99M can be produced in a reactor by a neutron bombardment of molybdenum 98 molybdenum 98 is a product of nuclear fission in a nuclear reaction. How is technetium 99M detected? Technetium 99M can be detected through the use of gamma ray energy of about 140 keV. Most of the technetium 99M produced, produced in a nuclear reactor originates from the fission of uranium-235. Although technetium 99 sounds great, and it really is, there's always advantages and disadvantages as there are with all radioisotopes we come across and we must always have a balance of both. The advantages of technetium 99M in medicine are that technetium 99M includes a short half-life of 6 hours, which is long enough for medical investigation and short enough to manage the, minimize the patient's exposure to radiation. Technetium 99M emits low gamma energy radiation and can be attached to a range of biological carriers and hence can concentrate in a number of different tissues and organs. It is not an alpha emitter, so it does not cause radiation when dam radiation damage when injected. The associated with using technetium as a radioisotope in medicine are that radiation can affect the structure of enzymes, making it not act like a catalyst. The structure of DNA molecules can be altered, leading DNA to act dysfunctionally. Sex cells can be altered and the changes could possibly be passed on to the offspring. And lastly, a very important issue I'd like to discuss with you all is the living cells. The effects of radiation on living cells is dependent on many factors. One of these is the, is the type of radiation. The type of radiation here is the gamma radiation. Other things to consider are the distance from the source, the strength of the source, and the exposure time on parts of the body. This is very important to consider when using this radioisotope as there are many organs which are more sensitive than others. For example, the circulatory system, the eyes, the ovaries, and the testicles. Another factor that should be considered when using technetium 99M is the age of the person. It is the fact that young children and embryos are more susceptible to radiation damage than adults. And lastly, another important issue to consider is the being's general health. It's important to assess the person's body's ability to repair and replace damaged cells. Overall, I hope you have all understood this video and have learnt something new. Thank you.